Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Maxwell Cooper from Da Vinci Academy, and this is Case 1 of Da Vinci Cases Case Stacks Edition. Now, Case Stacks is a radiology education platform. They feature over 1,400 interactive radiology cases from all the different modalities. So they have x rays, ultrasounds, they have scrollable CTs and scrollable MRI scans, featuring a wide variety of pathology that you would commonly see. They also have anatomy modules that are really helpful for junior radiology residents, medical students, and other healthcare providers trying to improve their radiology knowledge. So definitely check them out. We have a link to their website in the description below. And we're teaming up with the creators from Case Stacks to, in these videos here to feature cases from the Case Stacks platform in the DaVinci Cases format. So for this case, we have a 25-year-old man comes into the emergency room with right-sided chest pain and a cough for two days. So this is a younger individual. He's got unilateral chest pain and cough over a very short period of time. Anytime with chest pain, obviously you want to rule out cardiac issues. Uh, you also want to be suspicious of possibly a pulmonary embolism, especially with uh, unilateral chest pain and a cough. Again, he's a younger individual, so you always want to be concerned for infectious or inflammatory causes as well, especially given this uh, short period of time. So his vitals in the ER are a temperature of 38 degrees Celsius, so he's febrile. His heart rate is 92, so it's on the upper end of normal. Blood pressure is 127 over 82, so that's mildly elevated. And then his respiration rate is 22, and then his O2 sat is 90%. So it's a little bit lower. We'd ideally like that to be 95% or higher, so he's a tad bit hypoxic as well. So a chest x-ray is taken in the ER, which is shown to the right, and this is an x-ray provided by uh, K-Stax. And the question is asking, which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? All right, so let's take a closer look at this image. This is a PA view of a chest x-ray. And what jumps right out at us is this kind of hazy opacity that you see right here in the right middle lobe. This likely represents some airspace filling, which could be you know, debris or fluid or even pus in the case of an infection. Uh, there's also some atelectasis going on here as well, and that's kind of further supported by the fact that you also see some mild tenting here of the right hemidiaphragm. If you compare that to the left, see how this is a little bit smoother, and you can see that the right is a little bit more elevated than the left hemidiaphragm as well. So there's some airspace filling along with some atelectasis going on here as well. If we take another quick scan through here, you know, the heart looks like it's a fairly normal size. There's nothing here in the mediastinum that's really jumping out at me. The trachea appears to be in normal position or neutral position. And then looking through the lungs here, you don't really see any uh, pneumothoraces. You don't see any glaringly obvious pleural effusions. We're going to take a closer look on this patient's CT here in a minute. And the other thing is you don't see any uh, masses or anything like that that would be concerning as well. And then taking a quick look through uh, the different bones and the ribs, uh, you don't see any uh, fractures or MSK injuries. All right, so let's take a closer look at the CT scan for this patient on the Case Stacks platform. All right, so this is the same patient's case on the Case Stacks platform. You can see the history over here, 25-year-old male with right side of chest pain and cough. And then here's that chest x-ray we were just going through. Here's that hazy opacity in the right middle lobe we were just pointing out. So let's go over to the CT scan for this patient. And what's nice here is we can do a full screen view. And looking at this axial CT scan of the chest right here, we're in the soft tissue window. And what's nice on the case tax platform is you can actually change the window. So we'll change it over to the lung window and we'll scroll down here. First, we'll look at the uh, trachea and primary airways. And so we're looking at the primary bronchi. Everything looks okay here on the right. On the left side here, there's no debris or any kind of obstruction or anything like that. So we scroll back up, and we start on the right lung here, scrolling down. And here we get to the right middle lobe. You can see the fissures separating it from the right upper lobe, and then this fissure separating it from the right lower lobe. And you can see right away this consolidation here in the peripheral aspect of the right middle lobe. As we scroll down, you can see some ground glass opacities associated with it. So this is highly suggestive of a lobar pneumonia. And then you can also see some collapse here or atelectasis of the right middle lobe as well. So that's also consistent with what we saw on the x-ray as well. And so for then if we scroll down into the right lower lobe here, and we keep scrolling down, we can see some scattered ground glass opacities here as well, some dependent atelectasis here in the posterior portion of the right lower lobe. And then what we see here also that we didn't see as well on the chest x-ray is we actually see a small pleural fusion here. So you can see this as well right here. Jumping over to the left side, right away we don't see any pleural fusion on the left side here. 
We do see some scattered ground glass opacities in the left lower lobe as well. And then as we come back up, not too much in the left upper lobe. And again, there's no pneumothoraces on the CT that we see here as well. We don't see any masses that are concerning. But let's just change this back over to the soft tissue and go through the mediastinum, see if we see anything concerning there. So looking at the vasculature, pulmonary arteries, they look okay. The aorta doesn't seem too concerning. Again, this is a 25-year-old male, so we're not expecting anything too crazy here. And then as we scroll down, the heart looks like a fairly normal size. And then as we scroll back up, what we can see here, if you kind of look in here, is some mildly prominent lymph nodes, mediastinal lymph nodes, and those are most likely reactive to this patient's infection, their pneumonia going on in their right middle lobe. So coming back here, we can jump over to the coronal view, and this again just gives you a nice view of that consolidation in the peripheral aspect of the right middle lobe, and as you can see also, there's some mild atelectasis of the right middle lobe. And then scrolling up here, we can see again some scattered ground glass opacities here in the right lower lobe and some mild atelectasis, and then the effusion as well. And then if you come over here, what's nice is if you click this, you can kind of quiz yourself and then look at the findings here. So they give you the findings for the chest radiograph, the CT here as well. Then you can move into the diagnosis. So this is a low bar pneumonia of the right middle lobe and also a small right pleural fusion. And then they give you a little bit of a discussion. So kind of going through what this all means, kind of tying the whole case together and what you should really be kind of the main takeaway points from this case. Important thing here that they note is that the diagnosis of pneumonia is really clinical. You could have probably figured that out in the question stem without even looking at the image, but the role of the you know imaging is to help confirm that, but also to make sure there isn't any other significant complications. So coming back to the case here, let's just go through the answer choices quickly here. So tension pneumothorax, now those are typically seen in trauma patients, so there was no real mention of trauma. And then the other thing here is that we didn't see any sign of a pneumothorax on either the x-ray or the CT scan. Small cell carcinoma is a lung cancer that's typically seen in uh, smokers. It's typically seen in older individuals, so not likely that you would see this in a 25-year-old. And again, we didn't see any masses that were concerning for uh, malignancy on, on either the x-ray or the CT scan. Pulmonary laceration could appear like this on an x-ray. It could be kind of a hazy opacity. But again, this is where you have to pair it with the history again. So this patient has much more infectious type symptoms and presentation. So it's going to point you more towards the pneumonia. If they had been in you know, a serious car accident or something like that, uh, or if they've been shot in the chest, then pulmonary laceration would actually seem more likely. Again, the answer is low bar pneumonia. And then foil chest, again, is usually seen in trauma. You usually see that with rib fractures. And again, we didn't see any fractures here on the x-ray. So I want to thank Case Stacks again for providing this great case and letting us use it for this Da Vinci case. And again, the link to the Case Stacks website is in the video description below. So make sure you check them out and see what they have to offer.